G'day guys, Matty from Extreme Auto Caravan and Camping with you again today on a Willow RV Boab. This thing is a beast. Another monster off-grid setup for you guys here. I'll give you the full rundown on this, so we're going to get real techy on this. So stay tuned, stick around. Okay, let's get stuck into it. What we've got here. As you can see, if it's not a giveaway, I've got a lot of solar on this. We've gone for three solar controllers. Now the reason for the three solar controllers on this big off-grid setup, guys, is to cover not only the massive amount of solar we've got on the roof of this willow, um, but to split the arrays on the roof so they run independently to yield more power over the day. If there's any shading issues on the left or the right or even the front, the others will continue to work. And they're all networked together. So essentially they're, they're working as one unit, but they're separate. Think of it like a tracking system for each array. Um, that's what they do. So, big numbers. Straight into the solar, okay? So it's, it's wicked. The rear solar is a 400 watt array consisting of two 200 watt exotronic panels. So that's the rear 400 watt array. On the right hand side, we've done two 160 watt panels, okay? So there's another 320 watt array there. And then on the left hand side with the cheeky dog leg, there's another 600 watts, guys. So that's another 600 watt array there on the larger 150 Victron Smart Solar Controller. All three are networked together to give a combined total of 1,320 watts. Huge. This runs the Truma Aventa air conditioning, which is very efficient, you know, between 750-ish, 800 odd watts. This has more than enough energy to keep up with this during the day and charge as well. So that means you are charging your battery and running the air conditioner. It's a no-brainer. Victron Multi Plus 12 3000 120 amp inverter charger running all of the factory outlets. This is a seamless integration for the Willow. This actually came pre-wired um, from factory for this inverter, which made the job seamless and it just integrates much easier. So kudos to uh, the guys out at Willow for doing that. Happy days. So Victron Multi Plus 12 3000 120 amp inverter charger so you know microwave air conditioner hair dryers the washing machine which is wall mounted on this one old mate wants to induction cook outside run the toaster coffee machine whatever you know you might have medical equipment uh, this setup allows you to run a lot of devices anywhere anytime all at the touch of a button very easy 560 amp hours of power pool scout so these are the custom made lithium batteries from over in uh, victoria from paul Thanks, mate. These have that continual discharge of 250 amps per battery. So one battery can support the full load of this inverter should one battery fail or, or if he pulls a battery out, whatever the reasons, it's a redundancy thing. So both these batteries can support this inverter quite easily um, from zero to percent to 100 percent all day, every day at this at full song. So very cool there. As you can see, we've done the Red Arc. BC DC 1250, my go-to 50 amp DC charger for vehicle replenishment. So that means it'll pump in 750 watts, 50 odd amps from the vehicle when the engine's running and the solar will come in through the solar controllers as well if the batteries require it. So if this setup is at 50% and they, you know, they've been free camping, they've smashed 280 amp hours out of the system overnight, which is 50%. So they wake up and they're about to drive, I don't know, four hours up the road. If they left at say nine in the morning, you know, the sun's probably gonna be up. The solar is always working. That's going to be bringing energy in. The second he starts his vehicle, another 50 amps or 750 watts will come in on top of that. It will not shut one off. They will both work when you are driving 
at the same, it's, it's just a no-brainer for me. I mean, when you're free camping, you want to yield as much energy as you can from whatever sources are available. And when we're free camping, we're not having a generator running at the same time. So that rules out mains coming in. You've got the sun up and you've got an engine running. So there's an alternator spinning. Bring the, en uh, bring the energy in, bring the energy in, combine, not one or the other. This setup allows you to do that at stupid, stupid speeds, guys. So if 750, let's talk in watts, right? Just to, because there's 13, 20 watts on the roof. Let's say, I don't know, a thousand was coming in from the roof because of whatever reasons, efficiencies, or if it was, wasn't in the peak of the day, all right? 10 o'clock or something. So let's say a thousand's coming in from the sun. The second he runs that engine, another 750 is going to come in on top of that. So that's 1,750 watts to charge this, you know, almost seven kilowatt hour battery bank. That's pretty fast charging, guys. So these, in no time, in two hours, you've put three kilowatt hours in. You know, in three hours, you put 4.5 in and some. Like, you can work it out if you want to, but you don't have to because we've got the Servo GX with the Touch 50. So that's the touch screen that shows you everything that's going on with all of this under here. You never need to lift this up to get to any of this. This is all set and forget and fully remote controlled up on the touch screen. So let's get into that, guys. So your main screen that's up here, and you know, we've mounted this on eye level, which is really good. And the reason we put it here and not in here, now I, I could have put it here and I asked the customer, I said, where would you like it? And he said he wants to be able to get to it easy without lifting a cupboard. Now, how many of you guys have battery monitoring systems in your cupboard? And if you're like hot on your battery monitoring, some people are, some people aren't. Either way, if you've got a really, if you're hot on it, you'd have to do this. You know, you'd have to leave the cupboard up all the time just to see what's going on. And I know what I'd rather do. I'd rather have that down because I don't need to look at anything. I'd rather look at that. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's bright because the bed's down there. Well, this has a timer on it, guys. I think it's like 10 seconds, 30 seconds, one minute, 10 minutes, and this screen goes completely black. Completely. Just go to menu, go to settings, display. I got it for 30 minutes. So we'll change that for 10 seconds now. I'll show you what happens. Go back to pages. There it is. A lovely mirror <laughs> but look at that it, it's beautiful you you wouldn't even know it's on and simply to wake it up right it's very simple just touch it now that timer is all there very easy to see now main screen okay so sure powers here so when you plug into mains power you're going to see energy come in and go into the battery if required as you can see we are full which is why we're not seeing much solar at the moment let me just change that setting back it's good that you guys can actually see this because it's not hard to do you know, 10 seconds and I'll just go like oh, 30 minutes, it's usually enough time to do things. Back to pages, if you ever get stuck, hit pages, it'll always take you home. So within the home screen, you've got three, one, two, and three. That's your control page. So your inverter only, off, on, charger only. So inverter only is for when you're free camping, it will ignore any AC coming in. Off is off, even if you had AC plugged in, nothing would happen. On is auto mode. On is what you use if you're free camping and you're going to run a generator or um, you know you want to run a 10 amp power inlet into it and you want it to flick over automatically should the power go out. So on's automatic. And charger only, basically the van is back to factory form. You have to put power in, AC in, for your van's um, you know, air conditioner, all that to work. And when you lose power, it, it just turns off. Charger only activates is like a, exactly what it was in factory form. The AC current limit, guys, you've seen my other videos, I'm not going to get into that again, but you can control your uh, generator's input to not clip it off from there, and then we'll get into this. So, battery, state of charge, that's what is happening right now. We are full, we are probably in absorb, which we are, and there's the solar. Now, if I were to put on the inverter, so we'll go to, whoop, we'll go inverter only, you'll hear the beeping again. I'll flip you around, and we'll go put the AC on. Now it's cold here, you wouldn't believe it. In the middle of summer, we've got a storm coming. There's only 16, 17 degrees here in Adelaide. It's crazy. So we'll go, I'll crank this right up. You can see it. Go like 20, 20, 26, all right? So I've got the AC on 26. That'll kick in in a second. I should, I might go more, bugger it. Go like 
28, 30. We'll go 30. We'll get this cutting in because the sun's the sun is coming out. It's very focused. Yeah, it's it's overcast, but there's kind of little cheeky gaps. Oh, here we go. I've got me bent open. Oh. That's the day. All right. I it's it is overcast, but when the sun comes out there, at least I can do some quick quick testing. And wait for this AC to kick in. Oh, she just kicked in. I actually put it on cold, um, cold 16. Um, yeah, anyway, sun has most definitely disappeared. So there we go, running the trimmer, Aventa off-grid. Now what we'll do next is we'll back up the vehicle and hopefully we can get a little bit of sun and the vehicle charging at the same time for you guys. We'll get Ryland to back up the car and we'll have a look at this. Try and keep the air conditioning going on 16. Cold. What is it? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. 16. 16 cold. You got a little blue light up there. Alright, cool. And yeah, you can see it's running, but take what take note what she draws. 720 watts. So yeah, they are efficient. Right, the sun just popped out for a second then. Like the gaps are so tiny, guys, it's just it's a horrible day for solar. Nonetheless, we'll get into it. Get this vehicle going for you. So you'll see the, there we go. So that's the engine running now. All right, and we'll go up to the screen and we'll see that 50 come in. Beautiful, it's ramping up, excellent. Yep. Getting less and less, this is good. Down to 17 almost. Good job. There we go, that's the Red Arc 50, guys. Take note of it, still dropping. Solar's backed off slightly. Beautiful. So there's that 50 amp DC charger. All right, mate, you can shut that down now. Now Riley's going to go turn the vehicle engine off, and then obviously 50 will be added to that number there, so it'll be minus. Right, there we go. It'll be Riley shutting it down. There we go. Very cool. It's good to be able to get the combined solar and vehicle charging at the same time. Obviously, if we had more sun, it would be quite an improvement. I'm running the air conditioner, guys. Don't forget that. There you have it guys, complete off-grid setup for your Willow. Like and subscribe guys. I do these videos as mainly a rundown for the customer so they can reference it where, um, whenever they like. Um, and obviously it gives information on what systems we do and what it's gonna look like if you decide to get one for your van. So there we go, enjoy that off-grid setup. Thanks guys for watching. Oh, the sun's disappearing again, oh, no. 125 a second ago. Thank you, Riley. You're the weatherman now. Good work. So there's a combined solar and vehicle charge in here. Look at that. Here we go. Beautiful. Now we're going. 